Hello everybody, this is Paul Thompson here from the Trachtenbergsystem.org and today I'm going to show you how to multiply any number by 6 using the Trachtenberg speed system of basic mathematics. So this is part 3 in a 9 part series um, on how to use the Trachtenberg system to multiply any number by any other number. I would strongly advise uh, watching these tutorials in order and especially advise for you to watch tutorial number 1 and 2 that's how to multiply, uh, multiply by 11 and how to multiply by 12 because we're going to be uh, using a lot of the techniques that we covered in those previous tutorials in how to multiply by 6. Um, so if you haven't watched them, go and watch them now and then come back to this video. Um, so how to multiply any number by 6. Now there's actually two parts of the rule to multiply by 6. Um, uh, but the first rule is to add half of the neighbour to the number. So if I do a separate slide on how to deal with half numbers. So effectively what we do in the Trachtenberg system, like the whole system, not just uh, multiplying by 6, is to ignore the fractions that come as a result of having odd numbers. Um, so you can either ignore the fractions, ignore everything after the decimal point, or to round down. They're, they're all exactly the same. So half of 7 would be 3.5, um, but we're only interested in the whole number, which would be 3. Um, so we record the 3 all the time um, and don't uh, record the fractions. So it's the same for uh, 9 or 3 or anything like this. We just completely ignore the fractions. Halving even numbers is obviously uh, exactly the same as what it would be. So half of 8 would be 4, half of 2 would be 1. So that's that. So there are two parts, like I said, to multiplying any number by 6. Uh, the first rule is to add half of the neighbour to the number. Uh, the second rule is to add 5 if the number that we're manipulating at the time is odd. Uh, but we'll cover that in our second example. But first of all, we'll just deal with halving the neighbours uh, and adding them to the numbers. Um, so we'll start off with this simple example, which is 6 times uh, 622,084. So like we do with all of our uh, multiplications in the Trachtenberg system is to add a zero to the beginning of the multiplicand and underline it. So our results are going to go beneath it. So the first digit uh, on the right is four um, and it doesn't have a neighbor. So we don't have to half its neighbor and add it on. Um, if we consider that its neighbor is zero, then half of zero would still be zero. So we do 0 plus 4, and then we record the 4 as shown in red uh, at the bottom. And then moving on to the next number is 8. So we add 8 to half of 4, which is 2. So 8 plus 2 equals 10. So we record the 0 and add a dot above it to represent the carry 10. And then we move across to the next number, which is 0. So we simply do uh, half of 8, which is 0's neighbor. And then we add that onto zero, and then we plus the dot from the previous answer. So half of eight is four, plus the dot equals five. And we record the five. And then we move across to number two, and we do half of its neighbor zero, which is still zero. So we just record the two. And then moving across uh, again is another two, and we do half of its neighbor, uh, the previous two, which is one plus 2 equals 3. So we record the 3. And then 6, we do half of its neighbor 2 is 1. Uh, so 6 plus 1 equals 7. So we record the 7. Um, and then we move across to the last number, which is 0. And we do half of its neighbor 6 equals 3. So 3 plus 0 is 3. And that's our final answer. 370, uh, sorry, uh, 3,732,504. Um, so I've jotted down a few examples for you to try yourself, so feel free to pause the video now and see if you can uh, work out the answers. And the results are coming up on the next slide. Okay, so here are the results. Um, I hope you got them all right. Um, as you can see, they're all even numbers, um, but we'll now cover how to deal with odd numbers as well. So yeah, now to introduce the second part of the rule for number six, and that is at five, if the number, the number that we're multiplying, is odd. Um, so 6 times um, 
443,052. So that's got uh, zeros in it, odd numbers and even numbers in it. So that should be quite an interesting one which will cover the entirety of um, the rule for number 6. So as we normally do, we add a zero to the beginning and then underline our multiplicand. And then we deal with um, the first digit, which is two. It's an even digit and it doesn't have a neighbor. So we simply record down two. And the next digit is five. Um, so we do half of the neighbor. So half of its neighbor two is one. And we add that on to five to get six. And then we add 5 because the number 5 is odd. So if you have a look on the right hand side, you can see the uh, calculations that carry out. So 5 plus 0 0.5 times 2 equals 6. And 5 and add 5 because the digit 5 is odd. So 6 plus 5 equals 11. So we record the 1 and add a dot above it to represent the carry 10. And then we move across and we see that the next digit is zero. So half of its neighbor to the right, which is five, is actually 2.5, but we ignore the 0.5, the fraction, and we just record the two. Um, and then we add that onto the number, which is zero. So two plus zero is two. And then we add on the carried one from the previous answer represented by the dot. So it'd be two plus the dot equals three, so then we record the three. And then we move on to the next digit, um, which is three. So we we half its neighbor, so half of zero is zero, so we still have three. And because three is an odd number, we add five to it to get eight. So then we record eight. And then we move across again and we have four. So we do uh, half of three is 1.5, but we ignore the fraction. So we just have one, so we do one plus four. And because four is an even number, we don't have to add the five. And then we move across to the next digit, which is another four. And we do half of four, which is two. And we add on to four to get six. And then we move across again to zero and we do half of its neighbor four is two. Obviously two plus zero is two. So there's our answer. It's uh, 2,658,312. And that's our answer. Um, I've jotted down a couple of uh, even and odd digits for you to, uh, to work out. Um, some sums. So I'll pause the video now if you want to work them out. And the answers are coming up in the next slide. And those are the answer guys. So I hope you got them right. Uh, if you didn't or you had problems or got any questions, then please leave them in the comments section below and I'll uh, try and help you out the best I can. Um, so that's about it for this one. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can see how to calculate all of the numbers from the Trackenberg system um, in our complete tutorial series. And you can also find full instructions on our website. Uh, these are free instructions. We have videos and photos and diagrams and loads of worked examples all completely free, don't have to sign up or anything. Um, so if you want to read them, you can go over to uh, www.trachtenbergsystem.org and you can find everything there. Uh, thanks for watching and if you want your free PDF copy of the complete Trachtenberg system, so this is a scanned PDF copy of the book, um, then you can download it for free again at our website, trachtenbergsystem.org. Um, you don't have to pay for it. Um, but it's exact copy as what you'd buy on Amazon.com for $25 or $20, $25. So make yourself a saving there. Head on over to our website and download it for free. Um, so I hope you found this video useful, guys. Uh, I've got another one coming um, probably in the next uh, day or two. But by the time you watch this, it should already be up there. Um, if you've got any problems or questions or comments, then you can leave them in the comment section below. And if you've got time... Uh, please give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down and tell us what you thought of the video. Okay, thanks guys and I'll uh, see you soon.